a letter from Evanston Live TV to the Evanston community. Evanston Live TV was created to be the voice of the people. I post interviews, meetings, election forums, press conferences, and promote businesses and organizations. I do not misinform or make things up. Yes, I do need to calm my fire and passion at times, but I want the public to know where that passion is stemming from. It is a tragedy to me when people realize what has happened to them too late. I have been in that position myself many times, so that's why Evanston Live TV exists. There is so much going on in Evanston. I am a one-woman show that cannot cover everything, so I cover what I can with the resources that I have. I would love to bring more people on to work with Evanston Live TV. One of the many concerns from the community is the Black population in Evanston is steadily declining. It is of the utmost importance to examine the leadership and who we, as a community, put in these seats of our local government, no matter if they are Black, Euro-American, Native, Latinx, or other. This includes the Black community being very careful with Black leadership that are intentionally chosen by those who may not have the Black community's best interests. There has been a request by the local government leadership to quote unquote, turn the temperature down. And then there have been leadership who have been very bold and fearless. Those that quote unquote, turn the temperature down survive in the Evanston culture because they seem to do what they are told to do. Then those who are bold and fearless who try to prevent more of the black community from leaving Evanston do not seem to survive politically or period. Black Evanston has no one to blame for that but ourselves. If we could go back in time to Senegal, to the door of no return, would you warn your village of those making deals to sell off your village? Or would you continue to protect them simply because you're from the same village? I have invited leadership onto Evanston Live TV since 2016, whether I personally like them or not because I wanna give everyone an opportunity to be heard, to, to clarify any information or messaging that needs clarity for the public. Sometimes they knew they were about to walk into the fire from the community, but as leaders, they always came prepared and sometimes were able to change the minds of many who initially opposed them. I just want the Evanston community to know that Evanston Live TV was created to provide information to get the voice of the people, no matter who it is, and provide a platform for those who fear coming forward. Since 2016, the Evanston Live TV forums have helped residents to show up to the voting polls with more information and insight into the candidates. Receiving messages about the forums being really helpful makes all the intensity surrounding the elections all worth it. I will reduce my passion and I will continue to bring the truth and the opportunity for those to clarify their positions and want to interact with the community. Thank you, Evanston Live TV.